Right, this afternoon we're going to show you the rudiments of building a garden uh, pergola, arbour. We don't quite know what it is, we didn't know what to call it, so uh, whatever you want, this will give you the basics to create the structure. The, the tools you need, the basic tools you need are spirit level, uh, tape measure, pencil, screwdriver drill, selection of screws, 70mm down to 50mm, handsaw, this is an ideal spirit level because it's a post uh, levelling spirit level and it means you can adjust the post in two different ways at, at once and get them absolutely level. As long as the bubble is between the two lines on both of those against the post, then it means your post is absolutely level. Uh, this is the post digging spade. You need to dig your hole down, probably the length of that maybe a little bit more. So that would be, uh, that's 400 millimetres, but you might go 450. And this is a, an optional extra which is useful for taking out the taking out the soil saves you having to dig it down into the hole with your hands and then once you've uh, created your uh, square and put your four different posts in i did it round a six by six uh, trellis because that just made it a bit easier to square it up and then uh, what you do is you put your post in get it level with your uh, your your post level or your spirit level then you pour water into the hole about two or three inches of water and then fill that up with either post street or this is remix that we use both similar sort of idea but in particulate form we fill that up to just below the top of the hole that'll go off in about 10 minutes but what i usually do is i put braces on two um actually that's <laughs> normally on two faces, um, so there's a brace that way and a brace that way just to uh, secure the post in an upright position while the concrete goes off and as I say it goes off in about 10, 10 minutes. Um, as far as the, uh, once the posts are in position you can either put a trellis across the top making sure that you've got at least six feet, six feet three of height because then if you've got things growing over it um, then people can still walk through. I quite like using the tantalised batten because it then, uh, this gives the sort of theatrical drape sort of effect, um, which I quite like with the trellis. Then the roses can grow up there and over there or whatever you want, or clematis. Uh, things like this I would cut off because that's poking out too much if you're going to walk past it. If you're not going to need to walk past it, it's probably not so essential. But all I would do is put a piece of wood up there, mark it off, saw off the bits that's unwanted, or saw it right back to there. Um, I always use tantalised timber. Uh, this is actually just ordinary white wood because we can't get much timber at the moment because of the lockdown. But uh, this uh, this will only last very, very short time outside. So go for the tantalised timber, tantalised posts. Uh, I tend to use um, the four by one timber or 100 by 25 mil tantalised timber that you see at that end because that, that's pretty strong. And then I add, um, put tantalised battens across the roof to carry the uh, the roses and clematis etc over but the the the, the options are, are limitless the main thing is to make sure it's robust this isn't as solid as it might be because of um, the fact it's just done as it just to give you a basic idea uh, but uh, make sure it's robust and uh, it'll give you hours of pleasure and if you uh, look at my hopefully I'll do a, another another uh, vi video which will show you how it looks after 15 years. I will look somewhat older by then, but anyway, hopefully it'll give you a bit of an idea of how to at least make a start. Look on YouTube for other, other more detailed uh, projects.